Okay, I will uh, talk a bit by, about my trusted friend here, the uh, CVA 123R. Um, it's a white gas though from uh, Optimus. Uh, it came out first in 1955. Uh, its only name was uh, CVA 123. And um, I think it was in 1972 or something, they added a cleansing needle in the the nozzle there, inside here, um, and uh, I altered the angle of the the, uh, the wheel there, um, and it's the new name was then uh, Suya One Two Three R. Uh, have been produced like uh, the they have started in, in 1972 until now at least so. Um, it is a sturdy construction, uh, quite small stove, easy to use, and uh, I had no faults with mine uh, during my six or seven years owning it. And uh, it is my trusted friend. I bring it on all my trips, also because it contains my coffee pot. It comes with a small kettle up here. Uh, it's too small to actually do anything with it except boiling a small cup of tea or coffee. <clears throat> so I just put it out uh, that way, more or less. Um, it runs on white gas uh, and has an output on uh, 1400 watts. It's not that much, but it's more than enough for a solar trip. It weighs uh, 550 grams uh, when it's not filled up. And you fill it with white gas and you will fill it with approximately 120 milliliters of white gas. That's approximately four ounces of white gas. Um, and it's uh, function with just preheating it and the preheating also pressurized the, the fuel tank uh, so uh, you don't have any pumps on it on anything so it basically runs itself with a full tank of gas um, from my experiences it will run up to like 45 50 minutes and uh, that's more than enough to boil you as a few liters of water um, I know it has some uh, high remarks with climbers because it's so small. Um, I made a small modification on it. As you see here, I put in a fiberglass uh, rope gasket from the my wood oven uh, back home. Just attached it with a, a wire just inside and just needed on. Uh, it is making the preheating uh, much more or less messy and the burn time much more longer from the preheating so uh, it will get warmer. Um, in addition to the stove um, I always pack with me um, some kit that fits into it. Um, and uh, one thing is the uh, uh, fire um, fire steel from uh, Primus. As you see here, it's a hole. <laughs> it's made for the the wheel actually, but it fits perfect for my uh, fire steel. Um, I also packed with me this uh, pot holder, more or less. Uh, if I get too warm and uh, this small pipette to take off the fuel from the tank and uh, put it on the the fiberglass wick. Um, in addition I have this uh, titanium pot from Snowpeak it's a Thai mini solo I bought it for several years ago it fits perfectly around my stove uh, and it's made for the, I think it's made for the, the Nalgene bottles. 
So anything that fits around the Nalgene bottle will fit around this. Uh, but it's due to the coverage of the this pot stands there. Uh, it fits perfect inside the inside the the pot also. So it looks like it's made for each other. Uh, as you see, it's not many millimeters or uh, anything to there. It's uh, more or less you have to shake it out to get it out. It fits perfect. Um, I made some graded, uh, graded markings on it to for every hundred milliliters, just for, for my own usage, more or less. And with this pot, I also found. <laughs> Uh, pretty amazingly, uh, this is the lid for the pot, uh, made out of silicon. Um, that PMC are is, are making this uh, insert for their own pots. Uh, I'm just just making a small hole in the 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 snow peak lid, and I suddenly have my own French press also uh, that fits perfect with this set. Um, there you go, quite simple, easy to use. Um, you should know when you're um, uh, heating up the, uh, the stove, um, since it's the, actually the, the heat that's pressurizing the tank, uh, you need to insulate it to the ground, uh, from the ground when you're using it in winter time. Uh, so uh, you don't uh, 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 lose a lot of heat to it, and so it will be uh, less pressure in it if it's standing on snow or ice. Uh, so you're losing a lot of watts and output of it. Um, you need to open the, the lid here. Um, also, you should do that every time if you're, you're preheating it, even if you have used it before. It's f to actually uh, depressurize the, uh, the the canister here anyway. Uh, I'm using the pipettes uh, that I bought from eBay. Uh, it cost <laughs> me, I think I've paid one or two dollars for 50 of these. So I have a, like a huge bunch of them, but actually a broken one. So this is the second one I'm using. So I most likely have it from a pipettes for lifetime for this stove. Stow. Just taking out some fuel and uh, putting on the fiberglass weaker. Um, you could also use a syringe if you want to do. Some are using it. I think it's a bit bigger and bulkier. Uh, or you could just use a straw and take it in there and drop it on there. Tying up the... Taking on the lid again. Making sure it's not open. And using the, the fire, st fire steel from... This is also made from Primus, I think. I'm starting preheating it. When you're preheating it, preheating it, uh, don't let the uh, 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 wheel stand in there. Obviously, it was open now, so it started started to actually taking fire. Um, don't let the wheel stay in there. Uh, it will get warm. And when it's burning, also take it out so you don't burn your fingers when you're trying to to uh, regulate the heat there. That's the reason I got the pot holder also. If I forget it, I could take it off. As you see, the fiberglass wick is burning a long time, and that's good for pressurizing the the, the fuel tank here. Uh, so we're getting much more output at the beginning. If sometimes it will get burned with a really 
small flame at the, at the start. But since I will have this five glass week, it's preheating pretty good. Uh, it's a bit noisy. Um, I really like the noise. It's comforting for me because it means heat and something warm to drink. But uh, people have been complaining about it. Uh, just cleansing it and turning it off. Uh, so I bought this uh, this silencer from I think it's uh, I don't remember it's something with Paul. Uh, you see in the brand there. Um, it's really silent with it, but um, I actually missed the sound of it uh, because it was a bit comforting it for me. It's not that noisy. It's only 1400 watts, so it's not that noisy. I have stoves that's much more noisier. So I missed the noise, so I took it off again, uh, put it aside. Um, yeah, that's my Sway R123R. Um, hopefully it will be helpful for someone to see what I've done with it and uh, how to use it. And what you could do with it as a solo hike comp uh, compact stove for uh, yourself. Uh, or just a coffee pot warmer for, for the rest of the gang. Thanks.